My name is Rolando. I'm Nino. We're from Grand Rapids Community College, and our research deals with the disaggregation and seeding of lifetime uh, fibril formation, which basically, in amyloid diseases like Parkinson's and or Alzheimer's, there are these toxic fibrils that aggregate together and basically cause you know, degenerative damage in the brain. We're trying to find out what is that, that toxic nuclei that initiates this fibril formation to occur in the first place. So that's what we're trying to do. Find out what is this new toxic nuclei, understand that, and find a therapeutic for patients. Okay. So a couple of things we did do was analysis of the current toxicity. We wanted to find the structure of this nuclei and study its seeding as to how fast will it make you know, fibro formation grow. So a couple of things that we did here. coincides with our ANS because what happens in ANS, um, it measures the hydrophobic patches which are revealed when these fibros are forming. These fibros are once ordinary proteins that misfold into these fibros. So once it's, it's, it's misfolding, it's revealing these hydrophobic patches, which we think contains the toxic nuclei, which is why we have a toxic assay that measures the toxicity of these fibros. So, once we get a good understanding of where we have these, uh, these nuclei, toxic nuclei, um, what we want to do is find out where it occurs and what can be done without it. With it. So once we have a good understanding of it, we're going to do some further testing, well, imaging, I'm sorry, of the nuclei, where we're going to study its structure, characteristics, anything that affects, uh, affects it, to hopefully come out with a therapeutic and hopefully reduce you know, these, these diseases in patients.